But it can buy me a boat It can buy me a truck to pull it It can buy me a Yeti Hey guys, it's Chicky from Wisco Fishco here, and today we are going to be learning how to tie a beginner pike fly. Here's a look at them. And the materials you are going to need are Spirit River Crystal Splash in red, Rabbit Strips Black from Spirit River UV2. I'll explain the difference between this and this in a minute here. The second thing you're going to need, or third thing you're going to need, is Spirit River UV2 Cross-Cut Rabbit Strips Black. The fifth thing, I mean the fourth thing you're going to need, is Gamagatsu Saltwater Series Size 1 Ot Hooks. And lastly, your bobbin and vise. Get ready to learn. Alright, so I mentioned something, and a lot of beginner fly tires might not know the difference between these two. The Spirit River UV2 rabbit strips in the color black. So rabbit strips are a lot thinner material and they're often it looks more like a shoelace almost if you if if you want to compare it to something. It looks like a shoelace. And the thing that's pretty similar to it is the Spirit River UV2 cross-cut rabbit strips in black. So these are taken from the same spot on the rabbit. But these are cut straight up and down. So the rabbit strips are cut straight up and down. And the rabbit cross-cut strips are cut around. So this is more looking like a collar or and this is used as the tail on our, on our fly to, that we're tying today. And this is used as the wrapping and as extra, extra fluff on it. So this is the strip right here on the tail. And right here on the front, this circular hair right here, that, that is the crosscut strips. All right, so now, all right, so now that we got that introduction out of the way, let's start working on the fly. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to wrap the hook and keep a little space in between the eye of the hook because that's where we're going to want to tie at the end. But that's a little ways away. So first let's worry about tying this about to where the barb would be on the hook. Bring it back around just like so. And then get out your scissors and cut off the ex excess that you have there. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some 20 pound line and snip off a little piece about this big. So about the same size as your vise, depending on what size vise you have. Now what we're gonna use this for is we're going to place this right behind, we're gonna loop it First, we're going to loop it like this, and we're going to put it loop facing away from the eye of the hook out. And now we're going to tie this on here. We're going to wrap it all the way up. Make sure that you keep tight. The key to this fly, there's, there's a lot of different methods and techniques to different flies, but the key to this fly is having 360 degree angle pressure on it so you got to always keep pressure on it so once you've got that loop tied in I'll explain to you here what this loop is for we're using this loop so that our um, rabbit strips and rabbit cross cut won't come out as easy and the when the pike or bass or whatever you're going for with this fly are biting on this and they're biting good you don't want it to start falling apart because this fly may take some time because even though this is a beginner fly, this is going to be a really nice fly and a lot of detail can go into this. So all this excess line here on the top, just snip that off and might want to make a couple loops over it to make sure that it's fully buried there. And then next we are going to start on our flash. Alright, so now we're working on our flash. Here's a little trick for you guys. 
for your package instead of taking out this big thing of flash right here snip off a little piece of the plastic right here making sure you're not cutting this the uh, the flash and what you can do is you stick your scissors in there and pull out a big chunk of this flash just like this without all the mess of opening up the package and taking out all the flash. Alright, so now that we got that flash taken out, as you can see I've used this one before, we're going to snip off a little piece right there. Take our flash, put that away. And here's another trick. Pull down your line just a little bit. I might need to get a close-up view of this. I'll go halfway in between where you have your um, stuff set on there. There you go, there's a little bit of a better close-up for you. And go halfway in between there. And now here's a trick. Take your flash that you got right here and go behind and underneath the line here. And pull it up so that it's over the line, just like that. See how I'm doing that? Over the line, just like this. And now measure it up on both sides to make sure that you have it. And just like I did there, wrap it in. After you take the two halves, set them down, pull them back a little bit so that they're facing all this way, and then wrap them up. Just make sure to wrap the tip of it up, because we don't want this fly to be too heavy, and just let them fall at the back like that. Alright, next we're going to use our rabbit strips. Now remember, this is the shoelace looking one, the big, 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 big shoelace looking one. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a nice piece oh, about the size of our flash. Maybe a little bit longer depending on what you're fishing. Now remember this is a northern and occasionally a smallmouth or a largemouth might come along and get this. I think I'm going to cut a piece about from my barb to the flash. Cut that little piece off. And here's a trick. Cut the piece diagonally like this. And that way when you're tying it in. See that's a little bit diagonally cut and it's not cut straight like that. Now when you're tying it in, you tie in just the tip and it's a real small amount so you can get a lot of the cross cut on there. So it makes it real nice and fluffy. Again, just try to cover up the tip of it but enough where if a fish wants to pull it off, it won't come off. Because again, the fish are going to love this lure and this is a really easy lure to tie. I think I tied about six of them and maybe an hour and a half. I think it was about 18 minutes each, give or take. So there you go, that is the second half of tying this fly.